Understanding wing disorders in geese is critical for early intervention and long-term care. In this video, I'm gonna go over the three most common wing disorders. Dropped wing, twisted tip, and angel wing. These conditions can't affect your goose's comfort and the way they look. However, they don't appear to negatively affect their health. Most wing disorders begin during rapid growth periods beginning at four weeks and ending around eight to 12 weeks. It's a good idea to recognize these problems early to prevent permanent disfigurement. I suspect the main cause is related to their diet. It can be a challenge raising small geese solely on pasture and keeping them safe from predators. So many goose owners resort to raising them in brooders with commercial grain which ultimately can cause wing deformities. I've also been seeing several comments on my post relating to angel wing. So in this video, I want to address some of those concerns. Dropped wing is when one or both wings hang lower than normal, dragging close to the ground. In some cases, it's just temporary. In others, it could be a more permanent condition. The best method I have found to slow that wing growth is by placing the goose on a small amount of pasture so they can freely forage throughout the day. If you're not able to put them on pasture, you can also start offering fruits and vegetables with a minimal amount of grain for dinner until rapid growth period has ended, which is around eight to 12 weeks. Darla here loves grain and she really chows down on it. Because of this, she started to develop a heavy wing on one side, which is this one right here. This wing was actually dragging on the ground. I've had her on a pretty strict diet for the past three or four weeks, and now her wing has tucked back up where it should be. However, it is still a little long. I expect it to be normal by the time she's fully grown or by her first molt in nine months or so. The wing itself isn't deformed. However, the wing tips curl up. Some sebastopols really show it more than others. Twisted tip is most commonly caused by the overconsumption of grain. This is one of our buff geese that we recently purchased. She already had a little bit of twisted wing tips. I went ahead and put her on a diet and it has helped tremendously. One of the wings has completely tucked in and corrected itself. It's just the very, very tip right here of the wing that's twisting out due to the overproduction of feathers in this one area. I could try to twist it in, but it's a little uncomfortable for them. In the past, when I would see the, the wing feathers starting to flip out, I would normally begin to wrap them. It's best if your Sebastopol starts to get twisted tips, just to let them twist all the way around. Sissy here is one of our very first geese we raised and she did end up with twisted tip and it's actually not so bad. She ended up with like a dress. It looks like she's wearing a little dress. Celeste has no twisted tip whatsoever, not on either side. She is a perfect example of a Sebastopol goose with no twisted tip at all. This is actually our very first goose we raised that has had no twisted tip. I had to monitor the diet very closely. I had to provide a lot of grass, a lot of lettuce. This is Splash. His colors are identical to Celeste. His wing feathers stick out much further than Celeste. He has what's called twisted tip. Splash is quite a bit older than Celeste. He's about a year and a half old. Look right here. His wing is perfectly fine. He just has a chunk of feathers growing right out of the tip and he can't really manage them. So they just kind of like fold out. It's really not a big deal. It's absolutely not angel wing. His wings are perfectly fine. If the wing growth has gone too long and it's sticking straight out and the goose is still young, at that point, I do recommend wrapping them. Feathers to get pulled out by catching on things and they end up bleeding and injuring themselves. Angel wing is probably the one that most people have heard about. 
It's when the last joint of the wing sticks straight out instead of laying flat up against the body. It's very unnatural looking and it's caused by an imbalanced diet during the specific rapid growth period. For in most cases, once they get it, it's gonna be permanent and be a part of the goose for the rest of his life. Our geese rely on us to keep them comfortable and happy. Keep an eye on how your goslings grow, provide them with the correct diet, always make time to handle and check them regularly. They smell so good. If you found this video helpful, or if you've ever dealt with a goose with any of these wing issues, please leave a comment below.